Welcome, everyone. Uh, today, we are going to run our RNA-seq NextFlow NFCore pipeline. So we are going to get a bunch of QC analysis, clustering of our samples, and most importantly, the counts we're going to need to uh, start running DE-seq and differential expression and how to do that. Um, so we have uh, just made our design file, downloaded the um, data from ENCODE, made our design file, and we are ready to go. Um, so let's start uh, here where we are, classes, 05 RNA-seq, 00 RNA-seq, and here, um, inside here, there's a folder to actually run the pipeline. <laughs> um, that's here, and um, this is the uh, code we are going to be going over today. Um, so I'm going to run that from within my R Studio, but if you... Um, are on the web taking this class, long non-coding RNA IO uh, forward slash teaching. Um, here we are in RNA seq um, running the pipeline. Okay, so we are ready to go. And um, the first thing to do always is to look at the documentation. So what is then of course RNA-seq need, we're here, it's on version 3.8.1, um, and right away we can see we need a sample sheet uh, or a design file with this information that we've um, now gathered. Okay, so um, I suggest reading more about that, and I have the link um, in here. And so what we need essentially is a design file, a config file, and a, a run.sh very similar to what we did for the ChIP-seq pipeline. So I'm gonna go through it kind of quick, and there's another video on running the ChIP-seq pipeline where you can go over some more of this as well. Okay, so this is NextFlow saying, how do I talk to you? <clears throat> um, and if you're running it on your own computer, this would be local. Um, ours is Slurm, is the language our server, DG talks in, and so we're saying do that, go to the short queue, um, allow, uh, next flow 16 gigabits of memory and we're giving it a bit more because it has a lot of tasks to do and that it can do 10 things at once with the forks here um, and then this is our run.sh which then is going to be read both by Fiji and Nextflow and start to communicate to run all of the pipeline processes from alignment to QC to clustering of samples by counts etc um, and so what we start here with is slurm um, commands where uh, you need to give it the standard things that we've gone over. You can look at it or watch the previous video. Um, we're giving it six gigabytes because it really just needs to send out instructions and doesn't need to do as much com computation. <clears throat> we're <clears throat> printing out just a, um, a sign to say it's running. And then we load Singularity, and that's important to revisit that Singularity is a container that NextFlow is going to put all the different programs it needs to run the pipeline to get you all your data that would have taken days of individual steps um, to run and set up. Okay, so it's going to do it all for us. And then um, now after that, um, we are done with talking to Fiji and we are talking to NextFlow here, which we can tell we've called up NextFlow as the next thing to do in this and run this pipeline here. Um, I'll explain more about why we chose this one um, at the end of the document. <clears throat> Resume flag allows if anything crashes and if core pipeline can pick up and run right there. Um, it needs a profile command. Again, this is all in the documentation. Um, importantly, it needs a reads um, uh, path. <clears throat> Where are your FASTQ files? Um, the ones we downloaded from ENCODE, and those are here. Um, where's the genome? We have this hosted in our data folder for class and um, earlier versions of the class, or by now you would have had to um, downloaded these um, from the websites. Um, point to. Um, and then the aligner we're using is Salmon. So Salmon is going to do the quantification of our transcripts um, for each transcript annotation, and we'll talk more about that. Um, and uh, we're going to use the annotation um, gen code um, is this command. And it's all spelled out here for you um, and the config file that we um, just made. 
<clears throat> this is for you to uh, go through and put your own things. Like it'll fail if you don't have email. Um, make sure your file paths are all correct, your path here. Um, and then um, as we saw, all the new <clears throat> RNA-seq pipelines require this design file here that we've already made um, and put in our data um, folder where we are here is RNA-seq 05 and then 00 running the pipeline. And I've made this folder 00 in class test just so I can run it at the same time with you. Um, and then this is um, where I ran it before or have guided you to, to run it. So in here, I just have my design file, which is exactly uh, the information um, asked for um, there. Um, so that, um, however, for today's class, we are going to run an old pipeline that does not require a design file. And uh, that is because this data doesn't pass some of the QCs of modern RNA-seq ones. And so uh, just good to know, but I wanted you to be able to know how to get that design file in the previous class, because um, you'll need it for all modern day ones. Um, okay, so we are ready to make these files. So I'm in here where I want to run. Um, I'm gonna make this as my working directory. I'm in, again, uh, the um, o, O5 RNA-seq, um, OO RNA-seq download, and then um, in class test is where I'm running this. Um, okay, just to make sure. Okay, so now I can open a new terminal from here um, in this uh, spot, and I'm gonna just double check it. Okay, good. And I'm gonna nano, a config file. Um, Nextflow.config. And this is all the instructions that are just up above here um, for you to do is just copy and paste and make this a config file. I'm calling this nano nextflow config, paste that in there, exit nano. And now I have my config file. I'm going to do the same thing for my um, run.sh, which you've made up above. I'm just going to copy the one that goes to my file paths here. And so I'm going to nano run.sh, exit nano. And now I have everything I need to run the next full pipeline. So um, that those commands are right here. And then um, let's uh, give it a run real quick. Um, so we'll do sbatch run.sh here, and then tail, my keyword is odd, um, tail flow, next flow out, that um, is the output. Oh. It's not reading my T. Okay, so <clears throat> this is great. We can see it's already started to run. Um, and we'll come back to this in a second, but yours should also be running. Um, and we all have the same data um, we're running on. So we'll get the exact same results. This is just telling me that singularity hadn't been defined and that um, that it's putting it in a specific place. Um, you can just ignore this and we'll come back to it. And so I've already previously um, run this in the uh, NF core here. And so I have the results output, um, which I want to show you just briefly. Um, always the first place to go is multi QC and the multi QC report um, we're viewing here. Um, make this a little smaller and I'm going to go to the um, uh, so we can go through and see all of our different alignments sample similarities and here's what I want to point out is what it did is it did some quantification of reads and did clustering for us which we've done in previous classes and so um, what we can see here is there's something off the diagonal and these are the accession numbers here and what we can see is um, here, these two samples uh, 
are clustering together, but they're from different accessions. And long story short, and we'll go over it in the next class, um, the label was mislabeled by ENCODE. And we actually went into the raw data and figured out which sample was which. And we'll go over how we did that. But this is just to show you that in your results folder, you have the multi-QC and you can go through um, and see your read quality, alignment, scores, where things align to, um, et cetera, et cetera. So um, that is in your um, results multi-QC here that you will have um, shortly. And um, I can see that my singularity is still waiting to do its thing. So I'm going to pause until it's done. OK, it's running. So this is a good uh, sign. It's showing me all the processes that it's running here. Um, and has initialized them. So that's a good sign that it, it passed the beginning stages and is starting to make output documentation. So congratulations, you've run your first RNA-seq probably, and um, now we'll have a bunch of data, reads aligned, quantified transcripts, and we can start to do um, differential expression and uh, reading and counts in the next class. So with that, um, thank you and be well.